Damn. What you think, Josie? That's it. That's it. What's up guys, it's Eric from Varus Engineering and today we've got a crazy install on our Supra. We're gonna be cutting a hole, fairly large hole in our hood, brand new hood. Uh, we're gonna be installing our carbon hood louver. Basically this was designed and developed using CFD and CAD and scan data to improve the cooling efficiency of the car. We put this unit in a low pressure pocket on the hood to evacuate the most air that we can as well as designed it to improve a low pressure zone in this location so that again, it evacuates the air through the cooling stack. This should help, hopefully help both intake air temps and coolant temps if you're having issues on track. It also will obviously cool down the engine bay. Another reason why we chose this location on the hood was because we were worried about the structural material underneath. With this hood being so large and aluminum, we really wanted to ensure that we removed the minimal amount of structure necessary. And that's basically what we achieved here, I think. Um, as you can see, very little structure material has been removed and we removed it in an area where it's not lower. This is where all the strength from the, the hood structure is actually um, happening. Right here, this is actually the top skin. So we, we removed very large portions of that and then a few small ribs, but realistically overall, we did not remove a lot of structural material. Another benefit of this location is that when it rains, water is getting in a location that there is very little electrical components. So no worry there. Um, granted, we've not seen many issues or any issues on our BRZ or any other chassis that we make louvers for because all connectors within the engine bay are watertight. So you don't have to worry about that. But that is a few reasons why we placed the louver in the location we did and for the size, location, shape, etc. All of it is dictated off of some of our thought process on uh, the design side. All right, as far as tools that we used, we used a drill, we had a stepper bit, we had an eighth inch drill bit to start some stuff. This uh, die grinder with a bit for deburring, I used an actual deburr tool, air nozzle, a few cut off wheel, those are electric. I like electric over pneumatic for this type of stuff. Um, and scissors, uh, we also used painter's tape and isopropyl alcohol and a few microfibers for the install. As far as what's included in the kit, uh, the louver and some double-sided tape. All right, so we started the install. I am personally not removing the hood, as you can see from the car, but you can, uh, it's up to you. I am personally, keeping it on car because I don't want to remove that. I, I don't know how many men it would take to remove that. It's very large. We installed a tarp underneath the entire hood so that we can cut without putting whatever the hood is made of. I've, I've heard it's aluminum. Um, I don't know, the trunk's plastic, who the heck knows. We'll find out here shortly, but I use that so that as we cut this opening out, we don't put any shavings into the engine bay. Uh, really simple, just draped it over the engine bay, closed the hood. It is not fully latched. Uh, I could not figure out how to fully latch it with the tarp there, but um, that is what it is. We then cut out the template. So as you can see, there is a super logo. It's actually a Toyota logo. We'll probably have Paul change that. And then that's how you center it. And then I use some tape and I use these lines as indicators for, for how to measure that distance so that it's same on both sides and then I cut that out with scissors as well and tape that onto the hood. Um, I am using aluminum foil tape because the car is ceramic coated. If your car is not ceramic coated um, you could probably get away with painter's tape. Painter's tape just does not stick to uh, the surface that is ceramic coated. I don't know why. Um, that probably has something to do with ceramic coating. All right, so before you drill any holes, before you cut, I highly recommend making some measurements. So a measurement like from the rear of the louver to the front of the hood, I'm getting like seven and three quarter, 17 and three quarters. And then I do that same thing on the other side, 17 and three quarters. We can measure from say the crease on the hood to this side, it's 11 and a quarter. And then from the crease, 
Ooh, that's not right. So that's 10 and three quarters. Ooh, see? That's why you measure a few times. Yeah, that's different. Sweet. So, not centered. All right, so we've got the two holes drilled. We opened them up a little bit, so they're outside of, or to the line. And I'm gonna use a cutoff wheel to cut around. Let's go for it. All right, so basically we've cut through the skin, is what I call it, it's the top of the, the hood. And then there's this double-sided adhesive foam that basically connects it to the skeleton. And uh, we basically wedge something in there and then now we're kind of just yanking it up. And we basically want to remove this whole piece without damaging any of the actual hood. And now it's fighting me. Cool. We're gonna have to remove all this. There we go. All right, so now we're going to cut the structural metal that is underneath the, the hood skin. Unfortunately, we have to, to fit a louver in this location for this specific model. Uh, basically, we're going to grab or use this as our guideline and cut all the way around it and maybe finish it on the bottom side. I don't know yet, this is the first time I've done it, so we're gonna try and do it all from the top. We'll see what happens. All right, so basically guys, uh, at this point we've cleaned up the cuts as much as we can um, or as needed because realistically the flange on the carbon part, we designed it to cover up some mistakes and, and maybe not the nicest finish, um, but that's because it will cover it up and you won't even see it. So at, that, at this point, we're gonna wipe down the area that we're gonna be applying the double-sided tape with isopropyl alcohol, 50-50 mix, isopropyl alcohol and water. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the hood bent and then we're going to apply the double-sided tape and then stick it on the hood install is done at that point um, overall not too bad of an install i think it took us what like two hours maybe um, i wouldn't say it's fun not cutting into a brand new car is never fun but uh, i hope you guys think that the uh, the results are worth it you're going to see it here in a second but um, let's get to the isopropyl alcohol and then the double-sided tape and we can install it All right, so we have installed the double-sided tape onto the louver. Um, basically, just cut it to size. Um, we're gonna remove all these red strips. Uh, again, both the louver and the hood have been cleaned with isopropyl and water mix. Um, it's also a good idea to let this sit for a day before driving it, just to ensure that it adheres well. That's according to 3M's guidelines for VHB tape. All right, and then we basically just and then the uh, double-sided tape is foam, so you kind of just work it into the surface a little bit, pushing down. Um, obviously, the hood is moving as well, which is kind of annoying, but. You just kind of want to massage it in to make sure that the double-sided tape adheres to the surface as well as you can. And then the install is done. All right, guys, that concludes the install manual. 
I hope you enjoyed it and it makes it seem a little bit easier than it may have before. Realistically, the install is not that bad. It can be done with hand tools in your garage. Uh, a professional body shop should also be able to handle it, no problem. I'm an engineer and I was able to do it in about a few hours. Granted, I have done this stuff before. Uh, I hope you guys like the way it looks and I hope that you uh, subscribe and like us and potentially uh, follow along with our super build. If you'd like these louvers, um, we are potentially going to do a group buy. So just hit us up, sales at veris-engineering.com and Clay will get back with you. Thanks.